Good evening, my name is Sonny Stoltz, principal of Cloverdale High School, and I wanna thank everyone for joining us as we present the class of 2020 virtual awards and scholarship program. Unable to join us tonight are several guests who have annually come out on this evening to join us in recognition of our seniors by presenting through various awards and scholarships. We will deeply miss those individuals who are normally in attendance and try to recognize their efforts when presenting the various awards and scholarships they do so dearly support and provide for our seniors. COVID-19 has definitely had an impact on the end of the year celebrations and activities, in particular affecting this class, the class of 2020. Tonight, we will recognize many of our seniors. Like I stated earlier, we have a lot of support from various organizations and individuals. We wanna make sure we give those entities some recognition and publicity for all that they do for the seniors of Cloverdale High School. There will be a lot of money being passed out this evening along with many announcements of potential awards. It is a great evening for the class of 2020 and we are definitely excited about all their accomplishments. I also want to recognize three dedicated individuals who will be up on this stage this evening at some point to present awards. Ms. Blair, our guidance counselor, Mr. Saylor, the assistant principal at Cloverdale High School, and Mrs. Vivian Whitaker, Secretary of the Cloverdale Dollars for Scholars Committee. Without any more delay, let's begin the 2020 Cloverdale High School Senior Virtual Awards Program and Scholarship Program. Senior class officers for the class of 2020 are as follows. Macy Jones, President. Haley Thomas, Vice President. Cassie Wade, Secretary. Olivia Johnson, Treasurer. Valedictorians for the class of 2020. There are three this year. The selection of the class of valedictorian is based on the GPA after the first semester of their senior year. The three valedictorians are as follows. Haley Smith. Sarah Baker. Emily Byford. The Western Indiana Academic All-Conference selections were made this year. To be selected for this award, a student must have lettered in a varsity sport and earned a 3.7 GPA. This spring's award winners are Raymond Bates, Macy Couch, Morgan Goss, Jeremy Hess, Olivia Johnson, Autumn Llewellyn, Harley Pelham, Joshua Roach, Casey Shedron, Haley Smith, Jacob Smith, Eric Statner, and Mackenzie Stoltz. Next is the academic jacket, blanket, and letter winners. Students may earn the academic letter after the sophomore year if they have completed certain courses and earned at least a 3.0 cumulative GPA. An academic letter jacket may be awarded after the junior year if students have completed certain additional courses and earned at least a 3.3 cumulative GPA. Members of the class of 2020 who earned jackets or letters are as follows. Deshante Allen, Sarah Baker, Raymond Bates, Abigail Bernard, Madison Burton, Emily Byford, Natasha Carter, Macy Couch, Kaya Dobb, Nola Dean, Seth Geiger, Morgan Goss, Gabby Hamilton, Jacob Hamilton, Jolie Hamilton, Jeremy Hess, Olivia Johnson, 
Macy Jones, Caitlin Kendall, Autumn Llewellyn, Philip Meek, Megan Miller, Harley Pelham, Casey Shedron, Haley Smith, Jacob Smith, Adam Statner, Eric Statner, Mackenzie Stoltz, Haley Thomas, Cassie Wade, Jonathan Wagner, and Trevor Woods. Next are the National Honor Society members. These students include Deshante Allen, Sarah Baker, Emily Byford, Morgan Goss, Jolie Hamilton, Olivia Johnson, Macy Jones, Caitlin Kendall, Megan Miller, Haley Smith, Mackenzie Stoltz, Haley Thomas, and Cassie Wade. Um, next is the National Technical Honor Society members. These students were given their purple and silver cords at the induction ceremony, ceremony held on March 12th at the Area 30 Career Center. These students are Nola Dean, Megan Miller, and Casey Shedron. Perfect Attendance Awards for the Class of 2020. First semester, Trey Dickinson, Seth Geiger, Jeremy Hess, Isabella McKinney, Hannah Rallo, Casey Shedron, and Haley Smith. Second semester, Trey Dickinson, Hannah Rallo, and Haley Smith. For the entire school year, Trey Dickinson, Hannah Rallo, and Haley Smith. The academic Honors Diplomas. In order to qualify for the Academic Honors Diploma, students must complete a minimum of 47 high school credits. Certain required subjects must be included and students must attain a 3.0 GPA average. The following students are candidates for the Academic Honors Diploma. Deshante Allen, Sarah Baker, Raymond Bates, Abigail Bernard, Madison Burton, Emily Byford, Natasha Carter, Macy Couch, Kaya Dobb, Trey Dickinson, Seth Geiger, Morgan Goss, Gabby Hamilton, Jacob Hamilton, Jolie Hamilton, Tobiah Harrell, Jeremy Hess, Olivia Johnson, Macy Jones, Caitlin Kendall, Autumn Llewellyn, Philip Meek, Harley Pelham, Taylor Royce, Haley Smith, Jacob Smith, 
Adam Statner, Eric Statner, Caden Stevens, Mackenzie Stoltz, Haley Thomas, Cassie Wade, Jonathan Wagner, and Trevor Woods. Technical Honors Diploma. In order to qualify for the Technical Honors Diploma, students must complete a minimum of 47 high school credits. Certain required subjects must be included and students must maintain a B average. The following students are candidates for the Technical Honors Diploma. Sarah Baker, Gail Ball, Corey Bennett, Emily Byford, Nola Dean, Morgan Goss, Jolie Hamilton, Ariana McCracken, Megan Miller, Camry Monnet, Taylor Royce, Casey Shedron, and Haley Smith. The DAR sponsors a scholarship competition for students who demonstrate the qualities of leadership and citizenship. Members of the senior class select a classmate who must then participate in an essay contest. Cloverdale's DAR good citizen is Haley Thomas. CHS Ambassadors is a program that allows responsible students in grades 10 through 12 to serve their school and community as administrative assistants. They get experience building communication, taking leadership roles while helping our faculty and staff during school related functions. You may see them taking tickets, greeting and seating guests, and even serving food. Ambassadors help out with summer registration, the alumni banquet, freshman orientation, and graduation. Out in the community, ambassadors have helped the PTO, the Civic League, and Dollars for Scholars. These students volunteer their personal time after school and sometimes on Saturdays. We sincerely appreciate it. At this time, I'd like to recognize the senior ambassadors who will receive a certificate in gratitude for leadership and service. Sarah Baker, Abigail Bernard, Madison Burton, Emily Byford, Natasha Carter, Nola Dean, Seth Geiger, Morgan Goss, Jacob Hamilton, Jolie Hamilton, Olivia Johnson, Macy Jones, Grace Leonard, Autumn Llewellyn, Camry Monnet, Haley Smith, Jake Smith, Mackenzie Stoltz, Haley Thomas, and Cassie Wade. The Outstanding Ag Awards include the Advanced Life Science Plant and Soil Award to Haley Smith, the Advanced Life Science Food Science Award to Macy Couch, the Horticulture Award to Jolie Hamilton, and the Natural Resources Award to Emily Byford. The Outstanding Art Awards um, go to Gail Ball for Digital Photography, Abigail Bernard for Ceramics, and the Outstanding Senior Artist is Abby, Ber Abby Bernard.
The Outstanding English Awards go to Megan Miller for the overall Outstanding English 12 Award. And the AP Language and Composition Award goes to Haley Smith. The Outstanding Math Award for AP Calculus AB goes to Emily Byford. And for AP Calculus BC, Raymond Bates. The Outstanding Business Awards. Principals of Marcus to Sarah Baker. Entrepreneurship goes to Haley Thomas. To be selected for National Spanish Honor Society, a student must have actively enrolled in Spanish, have taken five semesters of Spanish or more, have a 3.66 average in all Spanish classes, have an overall GPA of 2.667, and have no failures in any class due to absences. Those seniors who have been selected for membership in the National Spanish Honor Society are the following. Sarah Baker. Emily Byford. Jeremy Hess and Haley Thomas. National Spanish Honor Society Scholarships. Mrs. Sipe would like to give $50 scholarships to the following individuals. Emily Byford, Jeremy Hess, Haley Thomas, and Sarah Baker. And the Outstanding Spanish Award this year in AP Spanish goes to Emily Byford. The Outstanding Social Studies Award for Government, Casey Shedron. For Economics, Haley Smith. The Outstanding Ban Awards, this year's John Philip Sousa Award goes to Caitlin Kendall. Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, Eric Statner. The Director's Awards, Jacob Metzger and Adam Statner. The Double Duty Award, Jeremy Hess and Adam Statner. The Outstanding Senior, Deshante Allen, Abigail Bernard, Samantha Harrison, Jeremy Hess, Caitlin Kendall, Jacob Metzger, Adam Statner, and Eric Statner. The Outstanding Choral Awards, the Outstanding Senior this year is Samantha Harrison. The Outstanding Health and PE Awards. The Elect PE Strength and Conditioning goes to Tobiah Harrell and Anna Powell. The Outstanding Science Awards for Anatomy and Physiology, Haley Smith. Biology II, Autumn Llewellyn. And Environmental Science, Allie Anderson. The Indiana Academic All-Stars this year is Haley Thomas. The Indiana Academic Rising Stars this year goes to Anna Powell. The American Legion Awards, the outstanding senior boy, Jeremy Hess. The outstanding senior girl, Jolie Hamilton. We'd like to honor three Boys State recipients, Raymond Bates, Jeremy Hess, and Adam Statner. Three recipients for Girls State, Jolie Hamilton, Olivia Johnson, and Haley Thomas. 
the United States Marine Corps Semper Fidelis. This award is presented for musical excellence to senior members of the high school band who are recognized as both outstanding performers and exemplary youth citizens. This award goes to Caitlin Kendall and Jeremy Hess. The United States Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award. This award is presented to seniors who have demonstrated academic achievement and leadership as high school scholars. Our recipient this year, Haley Smith, Sarah Baker, and Emily Byford. The United States Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award. This award is offered to student athletes, male and female, who have excelled in high school sponsored varsity sports and who best exhibits the personal traits of courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership. Recipients this year, Kenzie Stoltz and Raymond Bates. The United States military, we would like to recognize the following individuals going to the different branches. For the Army, Tobiah Harrell, Isabella McKinney, and Megan Miller. For the Army Reserve, Diamond Foster. For the Marines, Jonathan Havner. For the Air Force, Raymond Bates, Anna Powell, and Joshua Roach. For the Coast Guard, Seth Geiger. And the National Guard, Ariana McCracken and Matthew Roker. Endeavor Communications sponsors the Kendrick Ray Memorial Scholarship. $1,500 was presented to the following students. Gail Ball, Blake Meek, Haley Smith, Mackenzie Stoltz. On behalf of the Putnam County Community Foundation, it pleases me to present scholarships to our students this evening. The first is the Cindy and John Hannett Dental Scholarship, $1,000 scholarship to Macy Jones. The Ethel V. Frazier Putnam County Hospital Guild Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Cassie Wade. The Putnam County Board of Realtors Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Gail Baugh. The Putnam County Soil and Water Conservation Scholarship in the amount of $500 goes to Gail Baugh. And a Lion Family Scholarship in the amount of $10,000 goes to Haley Smith. The Merle Laverne Brown Scholarship, the amount of $500 goes to Haley Smith. The Charles T. Cooper Scholarship in the amount of $325 goes to Emily Byford. The Putnam County Pie Coalition Scholarship $250 was presented to the following students. Gail Ball, and Mackenzie Stoltz. The Quail Forever Scholarship. Scholarship awards for freshmen entered in the fall of 2020 in the amount of $500. And it goes to Gail Ball. Live Like Maddie Scholarship. The Live Like Maddie movement was established in the late 2019. We as a family started the movement in honor of our daughter, Madison. Madison was so loving and caring and joyful and such a bright light in so many lives. She was the sort of person whose smile 
or contagious laugh would light up the entire room. This movement is about caring and continuing her spirit and spreading the kindness that she once shared with all of us. $250 was presented to Mackenzie Stoltz. Last scholarship, the Quincy Alumni Scholarship. The Quincy High School served students in Northeastern Owen County until 1953. Proud alumni continue to support their scholarship and recognize graduating seniors. And the graduating seniors have to be descendants of Quincy alumni. And this year, the amount is $960. The two recipients are Blake Meek and Haley Smith. We have many students receiving uh, individual college scholarships. From Ball State University, Caitlin Kendall. From Dominican University, Olivia Johnson. Franklin College, Harley Pelham, and Caden Stevens. Huntington U University, Devin Cashin, and Allison Taylor. Indiana State University, Nola Dean, Trey Dickinson, Diamond Foster, Autumn Llewellyn, Casey Shedron, Tara Shepard, Mackenzie Stoltz, Cassie Wade, and Tiffany Wainscott. From Indiana University, Jolie Hamilton, and Haley Thomas. From Indiana University Southeast, Haley Smith. From Indiana University South Bend, Macy Couch. For IUPUI, Deshante Allen, Abigail Bernard, Kaya Dobb, Jacob Hamilton, Grace Long, Blake Meek, and Skylar Monnet. From Ivy Tech, Madison Burton, Macy Jones, Kamalani Lauer, Chance Ray, and Morgan Trivet. From Marion University, Natasha Carter, Jeremy Hess, and Keely Hughes. From the Ohio Christian University, Samantha Shrum. Purdue University, Emily Byford, and Morgan Goss. From the Rose Holman Institute of Technology, Raymond Bates. St. Mary of the Woods, Adam Statner, and Eric Statner. Trevecca Nazarene University, Grace Long, or Leonard. Um, University of Indianapolis, Isabel McKinney, and Taylor Royce. Uni University of Nebraska-Lincoln, Sarah Baker. Vincennes and Purdue University, Gail Ball. Vincennes University, Corey Bennett. Janessa Gaston. 
Samantha Harrison, and Jacob Metzger. In the West Point, uh, West Point the United States Mil Military Academy, Megan Miller. The Cloverdale Education Scholarship. The Cloverdale Education Association awards a $500 scholarship to a senior who enrolls in a school of education at a four-year university. This year's award goes to Gail Ball. The Rockwell Foundation Scholarship. The Rockwell Foundation was formed in the early 1960s when the Rockwell Corporation in Texas decided to give something back to the communities of their family members. Along with the Cloverdale Community Building, the Rockwell Foundation has given several financial gifts to the community projects. This year, the foundation is pleased to present seven $500 scholarships to the following individuals. Sarah Baker, Emily Byford, Noah Dean, Adam Statner, Eric Statner, Mackenzie Stoltz, and Cassie Wade. The Wabash Valley Officials Association awards a $500 scholarship to a senior athlete who enrolls in a school of education at a four-year university. This year's award goes to Mackenzie Stoltz. The Cloverdale High School Athletic Booster Scholarship. The Ath Cloverdale Athletic Booster Club and Putnam Plastic sponsor a scholarship for one male and one female. They must letter in a varsity sport as a senior and have a GPA requirement. There are other criteria to be considered for this scholarship are citizenship, school service, and future plans. In addition to the $500 scholarship and certificate, their names will be added to the permanent plaque located at the high school. Applicants must attend a four-year college, a two-year college, a trade school, or a tech school. This year's recipients are, for the girls, Mackenzie Stoltz. For the boys, Raymond Bates. This school year has been an exciting and rewarding one for the Cloverdale Community Dollars for Scholars. We received a $10,000 matching grant from Scholarship America for a student who has completed at least one year of post-secondary education, demonstrates financial need, and maintains a 2.5 GPA. The match was made by Mr. Larry Haltom. It is named the Larry and Dixie Haltom Scholarship and will be awarded this spring, as will the Robert Steele Family Scholarship and the First National Bank Scholarship, which were also endowed by matching grants from Scholarship America. These scholarships are renewable for the second, third, and fourth years of post-secondary education, and the amount increases each year. So seniors, please keep up your profiles, keep them up to date, and apply for these scholarships next spring. A special thanks to Jane Hughey, Ryan Neese, and Dean Gamble for conducting the applicant interviews and making the final selections after combining the interview scores with the computer scored applications. And ironically, our interviews were held on the last day that students were in presence here at school. Friday the 13th will always be memorable. A huge, a huge thank you to Ms. Blair and Mrs. McPeak for their patience and assistance in working with me. A special thanks to Claire Graham for allowing me to use her English 12 classes to work with the students and to Mr. Wade and Mr. Rady for the slideshow and video production of this program. And last and certainly not least, to Mr. Stoltz and Mr. Saylor for everything they do throughout the school year to make Dollars for Scholars a success. If you are awarded a scholarship tonight, please check out the information in the envelope you will receive with your certificate. Go to your profile and on our website and accept your award as soon as possible. There is a deadline of June the 1st. Now for the fun part, awarding scholarships. Our first set of scholarships are one-time, one-year awards. The first, the R.E. Michael and Lenore Table Michael Scholarship. 
This $500 scholarship was established in 1992 by Bill Michael in honor of his parents, R.E. His parents, R. E. Michael, graduated from Cloverdale High School in 1923 and was a teacher, coach, principal, superintendent, and college professor, retiring as Dean Emeritus from Ball State University. Lenore Tabor Michael was a 1925 graduate of Cloverdale High School and was an elementary school teacher for most of her adult life. This scholarship is awarded to Gail Ball. Bob Rice established his scholarship with a gift of grain in 2018. Bob was a 1955 graduate of Cloverdale High School and a graduate of Purdue University in engineering, where he also played in the Purdue All-American Marching Band. Preference is given to engineering and or band students who will be attending Univer Purdue University. This year, we have two recipients of $500 each, Joelle Hamilton, and Tiffany Wainscott. The Hearst Collins American Legion Post number 281 presents two students scholarships of $500 each who have a history of military participation in their respective families. This year, the recipients are Trey Dickinson and Jeremy Hess. The Cloverdale High School FFA Alumni Scholarships. This fund was started by Dwayne Hughie, a former Cloverdale High School Ag teacher, FFA sponsor, and current member of the Cloverdale Community School Board. These scholarships are given to students based on their FFA leadership, FFA participation, and scholastic performance. Three students will be receiving $500 each. They are Sarah Baker, Gail Ball, and Emily Byford. The Ed and Juanita Meek FFA scholarship was established in 2019 by the Meek family and a close friend to honor Ed and Juanita Meek's contributions to the Cloverdale High School FFA chapter. The requirements for this scholarship are the same as for the FFA alumni scholarship. It is awarded in the amount of $500 to Morgan Goss. The Cloverdale Lions Club, their motto is we serve and the Cloverdale Club is in its 77th year of doing just that. In addition to providing services to the vision impaired and vision testing for Cloverdale elementary students, they look for students who have impacted the lives of others through their service. We celebrate two of those students in memory of two longtime members of the club. A $500 scholarship in memory of Jack E. Davis goes to Sarah Baker and a $500 scholarship in memory of Charles D. Whitaker goes to Haley Smith. The Rita Sackett Garrett scholarship is given by Rita Garrett's family. Rita was a 1958 graduate of Cloverdale High School and returned to Cloverdale High School in 1966 to teach fifth grade and then PE and health, also sponsor GAA and coach. She is the sister of retired CHS teacher Jeanette Sharp and the aunt of current CHS teacher Tracy Scott. This scholarship is given to a female athlete with preference given to applicants majoring in education or an athletic related field. This year's recipient of $500 is Olivia Johnson. The Mitch Warner Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 was established this spring in Mitch's memory by his parents Tish and Kerman Goss and his sister Autumn. Mitch was a 2006 graduate of Cloverdale High School. He was an active fireman on the Cloverdale Township Volunteer Fire Department. He attended Vincennes University to study heavy doodle, heavy doodle, heavy doodle, heavy duty diesel equipment and was employed as a heavy equipment sales inspector for McAllister Machinery at the time of his unfortunate accident. He also coached football for Cloverdale Middle School. The recipient of the scholarship is Cody Robbins. 
The Everett F. and Eva H. Bell Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of the Bells. Both were teachers and school administrators for 45 years each. Mr. Bell was a CHS graduate in the class of 1927. This scholarship goes to a senior who is on the honor roll, intends to be involved in education, and is very committed to his or her major. This year's recipient of $500 goes to Gail Ball. The Millgrove United Methodist Church endowed a scholarship several years ago by the members through gifts of donations from deceased members. These go to seniors who are either attend or are members of the church. This year, Morgan Goss will receive a $500 scholarship. The Jerry L. Sinclair Agricultural Scholarship in the amount of $500 was established by Jerry's wife, Bev, and his family upon his passing. Jerry was a 1967 graduate of Cloverdale High School. He was active throughout his life with 4-H and was particularly interested in showmanship. The recipient has to be a current member of 4-H and preference is given to those who participate in showmanship of animals or livestock. This year, the recipient is Mackenzie Stoltz. The Dollars for Scholars Board established Clover Awards to recognize students who demonstrate academic achievement. This year, we are recognizing three students for $750 a piece. They are Deshanta Allen, Blake Meek, and Casey Shedron. This spring, Bob and Pam Steele established the Spirit of Community Service Award to recognize outstanding service to the community, to the school, and to Dollars for Scholars. Two recipients will receive $750 each. They are Oli Hamilton and Samantha Shrum. The Clarissa Taylor Memorial Scholarship is given in Clarissa's memory by her family and friends. She tragically lost her, her life in a car accident during her senior year at Cloverdale High School in February of 1998. This award is given to a competitive, athletic girl that has overcome uncommon life events. This year's recipient of $750 is Autumn Llewellyn. The Vincent L. Faulkner Memorial Scholarship was established by the Faulkner family in honor of Mr. Faulkner, who was the assistant principal at Cloverdale High School when he was killed in a car accident. Selection criteria include participation in extracurricular activities, community service, and determination for success. This year's recipient of $750 is Samantha Shrum. I am both pleased and humbled to present the next two scholarships in honor and memory of my parents, Lillian and Charles Whitaker. Mother was the secretary for the school board for 26 and a half years and was always a champion for education. My dad was a longtime funeral director in the community and a civic leader in numerous clubs. The recipient of the $750 Lillian M. Whitaker Scholarship goes to Mackenzie Stoltz, and the 750 Charles D. Whitaker Scholarship goes to Cassie Wade. Jack and Shirley Dalton established the Jack and Shirley Dalton Trade Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 this spring. The student must be planning to attend a trade school. This is the first year for the scholarship to be awarded, and it goes to Cody Robbins. Jack and Karen Newsom have established a scholarship in their name. They were the first to establish Cloverdale Drugs back in 1973 at the northeast corner of Main and Market Streets in what was the original location for the First National Bank. In recognition of the loyal patrons in the Cloverdale community, Jack and Karen want this scholarship to go to a CHS senior 
planning to major in a health science. This is also the first year for this to be awarded. The $1,000 goes to Emily Byford. The William Michael Steele Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 was established by John Steele, who is Bill's brother. William Michael was a 1960 graduate of Clover High School, and this award goes to someone demonstrating financial need and academic achievement. $1,000 goes to Miss Nola Dean. John Steele is a 1958 graduate of Cloverdale High School and was an outstanding guard for the Clover's basketball team. John was a decorated pilot in the U.S. Navy serving in both the Korean and Vietnam Wars. He served on carriers around the world and later in the Pentagon. He retired with the rank of commander. This is the first year that the John Alfred Steele Scholarship has been awarded in the amount of $1,000 to Sarah Baker. The Founders Award is a scholarship in the amount of $1,000 in honor of the five founding members of the Cloverdale community, Dollars for Scholars. The five founders are Bob Steele, Steve Wittenauer, Dr. Keith Ernst, and Bob Gerlach. The scholarship is awarded for academic excellence and goes to Jolie Hamilton. Our last four scholarships are all renewable scholarships. The Community College Award is given to a student who will be attending a two-year community college or junior college or a technical trade school. It's based on academic excellence. It's given in the amount of $500 for two consecutive years for a total of $1,000 and goes to Macy Jones. The Super Scholar Award is awarded on the basis of academic excellence. It is given in the amount of $700, $750 and is renewable for four consecutive years for a total of $3,000. This year's recipient is Haley Thomas. The Dollars for Scholars Matching Partner Award is awarded in honor of our relationship with Scholarship America and it's $10 for scholars matching partner colleges in the state of Indiana. The scholarship is awarded on the basis of academic excellence and attendance at one of the matching schools. It's given in the amount of $500 for up to four consecutive years from our local organization for a total of $2,000 and is matched by the attending school. In other words, this total scholarship totals a maximum of $4,000 and it is awarded to Trevor Woods. The Chad T Tucker Scholarship is awarded in memory of CHS grad Chad Tucker, who was a 1983 Indiana All-Star basketball player, the current all-time leading scorer at Butler University, and a member of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. The recipient must have participated in athletics all four years of his or her high school career carries at least a 3.0 GPA. The award is in the amount of $1,250 for four consecutive years for a total of $5,000 and awarded to this year's recipient, Haley Smith. This makes a total of $30,750 from our local affiliate and if all potential money is matched by the Scholarship America matching schools, it will bring an additional $4,000 for a grand total of $34,750 to this year's seniors. I want to thank all in the community for your support of the Community Dollars for Scholars in making these scholarships possible. Since 1994, we have now awarded $465,475 to 503 Cloverdale High School graduates. We are so blessed to be Clovers. Thank you. Thank you, honored seniors, for your excellence and your, I have to say right now, your um, opportunistic opportunities that have come to you at this time, which makes it very difficult 
in the times we are actually going through. Thank you for your efforts and we're very proud of you. But I also want to take some time to thank some special individuals. Um, Mrs. Whitaker definitely um, talked about the people who invested in our seniors and we have some other individuals who like to make sure that we thank in putting together this video and this virtual program. I'd like to thank Mrs. Mellick, our senior class sponsor, and Ms. Blair, guidance counselor, for making sure that we had all the information we needed. Mrs. McPeak, Mrs. Statner, and Mrs. Phillips, who put it together in the office. Uh, parents, we want to thank the parents of all these seniors and give us the opportunity to work with their students. The high school staff and faculty who come every day and work pretty hard to make sure our kids have a top-notch education. The community partners, and I want to make sure I don't forget anybody here. Mrs. Whitaker touched a little bit on this, but the Cloverdale Dollars for Scholars the Owen County Community Foundation, the Putnam County Community Foundation, and all those individuals out there, First National Bank, Endeavor, all the organizations. I don't want to leave anybody out that have helped us in making sure our students receive uh, recognition and awards. And we thank that, all of our community partners. I'd like to especially thank Mr. Patrick Grady, who's putting this video together at this time, taking his time and making sure we have a top-notch program for our seniors and all those stakeholders who are involved in tonight's festivities. And Mr. Wade for taking the time and operating the slideshow. We hope you appreciate being able to see some pictures and the names associated with the awards. And last but not least, why we're here the scene for the students. Uh, Mr. Greg Linton, the superintendent, myself, Mr. Sonny Stoltz, the principal, and Mr. Brent Saylor, the assistant principal, have really been blessed to be a part of this celebration with the class of 2020. Thank you. We hope everyone enjoys the presentation.